Good, as you might well be able to see from uh, all these gold and silver discs, and I'm afraid we haven't had a chance to mention all of your many, many hits. Over 30, top 30 hits. Yeah, a few, yeah. Which is like an incredible feat, and more than virtually everyone, well, I should imagine. more than most people realise, I think. Really. Yeah, more than anyone that's, that's currently in the charts, I, I should think. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> And that's why you have got an absolutely gorgeous house. I mean, I've got one of these. Most people have got one of these nowadays in their bedroom. But uh, I, I wanted to mention the pink sink because my producer would fell in love with your big not sink, <laughs> bath. Yeah, it's a the big sink. <laughs> <laughs> your nice big pink sink. Yeah. And uh, it is an, an incredible house. Well, what, what have you been doing since... Uh, so I'm just rambling on about what a lovely <laughs> you house got you got. I'm so jealous. Uh, what, what have you been doing since, since Wizard split up in 75 or 6 or whatever it was? Um, 1775. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I went on to do a lot of solo stuff. I did some solo albums and uh, had. Uh, you had a lot of hits uh, solo while you were with Wizard, didn't you? I did, yeah. I had a few, yeah. And um, since then, I've become mainly involved in the recording side of it, like engineering and producing and all that sort of stuff. And uh, I've been doing some stuff for TV, incidental music, and. All Is that. this all really necessary <coughs> when you're doing? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so, well, a lot of it. Yeah. Like, I said to you, what does that do? You'd know, would you? Yeah. That's the on-off switch. That, that's on. <laughs> <laughs> that's on. Look. <laughs> and have, have you been? <laughs> have you been performing since? Uh, since yeah. Then? Well, <clears throat> um, I started to get a bit claustrophobic in the studio, and someone asked me to do um, a charity gig at the um, NEC in Birmingham. This was for Bernardo's about uh, four or five weeks ago, and I got a twelve-piece band together for that, um, and we went down, you know, really well. And uh, ever since then, people have been phoning me up to uh, to go and do some more gigs, and we thought, well, we'll try that because it's very difficult to make a twelve-piece band actually make money on the road. Mm. You know, it's very, as you know, it's expensive to put on the road. Um, but we're going to fill the water over Christmas. We're doing about half a dozen gigs, and then in the new year, uh, we've been offered um, a theatre to uh, finishing up at the Palladium, which will be quite all right. Yeah. Yeah, different for me. And that must have been like, very true to sort of your original dream. Setting up ELO was like one of the first of. Yeah, I like it. I like big groups. I like groups with a lot of people in. In fact, if we can't make this play, I probably wouldn't do it. I wouldn't want to yeah. do it with like a small band again. Yeah. You know, so I'm, where are you going to be playing? You playing over Christmas? Yeah, we're doing the Birmingham Repertory Theatre in uh, December on the 13th, and we're doing a couple of gigs at the Town and Country Club with Squeeze on mm. the I think it's the 20th and 21st. Well, best of luck. And, uh, and uh, so we've got to go now. Oh, sorry, <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, bye we, then. We could have chatted for a long time. All the way to Shropshire and you're going I'm sure a lot of people will be, uh, will be singing at least one of your songs. Yeah, very soon. Good lad. Thanks a lot. Cheers. See you Monday. Bye. See ya.